Hey, what is going on guys? It is Jiko back again with another video and today and I'm gonna be explaining why I really like the new Los Santos tuners DLC update There's a lot of good things and overall this DLC or update whatever you want to call it really blew my expectations away and To start off. I mean look at this look at this new social place It is filled with cars that you can just go around and test drive. So the brand new Los Santos car meet club whatever you want to call it is very alive you know it's a very cool little social place you can bring in your own custom car show it off to your friend show it off to some random people in the lobby we got the new free car of the week which if you don't know you got to do like a little challenge for so if you place top three in the new races uh three days in a row you can get yourself a free car. Plus, on top of the casino car that you can get for free every week. Oh yeah, that's right. They added this new reputation level, which was first introduced with the Arena Wars DLC, but you only could play Arena Wars and that just, that update sucked overall, so no one went and did it. But they made this new reputation system where you gotta level up and you can get all these new uh, customizations, like these new shoes, uh, some new jackets and a bunch of other cosmetic type sh stuff that you know You wouldn't normally be able to get in unless you leveled up in the reputation system, which is pretty cool You know, I've been a very high level in this game for a very long time and RP really means nothing to me nowadays But this new reputation system actually means something you can actually earn some stuff while going on these new races Which is pretty fun. The cars are also really great in this update. I'm not much of a car guy I couldn't tell you every single car other than the I think I'm driving this is a 69 Ford Mustang um, pretty popular car but all the cars are really really popular very all very good and kind of on the cheaper side this update is really really good if you have money that's one thing I would like to mention is that everyone who didn't like this update didn't have money <laughs> I know it kind of sounds douchey but it, you couldn't do anything without any money which is like every other update in the game like you couldn't start the KO Perico heist without like one or two million dollars to buy a submarine you know it's the same for every update but this one's a little different because when you buy the auto shop you need at least one of the cars to start doing the missions you can do the default one Sasana's car or whatever but I like to have my own personal vehicle for the auto shop missions which leads me to my next example is that the fact that Rockstar dropped this brand new business on us like out of nowhere. I mean, look at this place. The auto shop is where you can store now like 10 cars, I believe, in here where you can customize vehicles. It's kind of like a boosted up arena workshop in a way. And the business side of things, the legitimate business side of things, I should say, is that you can go and customize random customers' vehicles. It's kind of like the nightclub where uh, they'll just kind of pop up randomly and you just got to pretty much walk up and customize them. I think I've already customized both of these cars because it's not giving me the option to customize this right now i don't know why that isn't the greatest amount of money but it's it's really easy and free money it's just the the business overall is pretty cool you get to customize a car deliver it to the customer and make some quick cash that way it's pretty fun you get to customize a car now my favorite part of the update by far is these new contract missions they're pretty much just like little baby robberies but they are super super fun and um, pretty easy and quick to do as well you do two very quick and easy setup missions and then you go on to like the little robbery finale where you actually do the robbery or whatever you're robbing and the best part about the new robbery missions is that you're forced to use one of the new DLC cars or Sasanta's cars if you don't have one of the new DLC cars is bad and good in a way people might say Hey, uh, I'm, I I can't use my oppressor. Why can't I use my oppressor? It'd been make it way quicker and way easier. But yeah, but this is a, a DLC about cars, and you know the cars are really cool. I I like the fact that you have to do the new robbery missions with one of the new cars, and I don't know, it just adds a little bit more depth to it and the more importance to the car and the auto shop overall. If I'm making any sense, because why buy any of the new cars if you could just fly around in your oppressor during these robbery missions? It wouldn't make any sense really another thing that they added is the exotic exports list these I believe change every single day They reset every day or something like that. These will spawn randomly around the map They're just like little free mode events kind of like the KO Perico uh, Update where they added free roam events and it will randomly spawn you just go up to it and take it down to the docks It's very similar to the Simeon job, but it's 
without Simeon, which is probably the best part about the whole thing. And it pays pretty well. You get like 20k, I believe. Very easy to do too. So I pretty much explained just about everything I believe in this new update. The cars, the club meet, the f new free car you can get, the test track, all that sort of fun stuff. The new cars, the new business auto shop, and the new robberies. And there's so much. There's actually so much to this new update. It was hard to believe how much they actually added. I jokingly call this the Fast and Furious update because not only can you pull off these robberies, but you have to do them in cars, and all the cars are, some of them were from the Fast and Furious movies. I never watched a whole bunch of them, but, and you have to do the robberies while in the new cars, which is actually pretty fun, and like I said, I really like. But the reason why it is actually in my top, probably three updates of all time, is because of the new robberies and how much fun they are and how much e how easy they are and how much money they actually give out. It's okay money. Yeah, obviously you could do the KO Perico heist in less than 30 minutes, but you know, that gets boring. But the thing I like about this update the most is how much Rockstar added to this update. It, it, at first glance, it just kind of looked like, oh, there's gonna be a new social place where you can bring your cars and it's just gonna be cars in the new social place, maybe some new races, that's about it. But they absolutely blew our expectations away. Uh, you know, I was on Twitter the other day when this update first came out and people were like, wow, wait, they added new heists, ro robbery missions? What are these? I also made a joke on Tuesday when I first made an update video and I was like, how did Rockstar accidentally make a car DLC better than the robbery DLC we got in Red Dead Online? Most of you guys probably don't even know or care or even play Red Dead Online, but we got a robbery update on Red Dead Online and it sucked absolute balls and it, it, it was just completely useless to do. But in GTA, this new car up was kind of like the robbery update we needed in Red Dead Online. It didn't really need in GTA, but it was also really fun to do in GTA Online. It my favorite feature so far. With the expanded enhanced additions coming out for this game later on in November, I think, I believe. I think that was already announced. I'm really, I'm getting more and more excited for what Rockstar has to offer to this game because whether or not we actually have to wait till 2025 for the next GTA to game to come out, um, they're definitely filling in the gaps and letting us do some fun stuff. Oh, sorry, sorry fellas. I, I, I'll leave, no worries, no, I'm fine. But regardless, if we have to wait four more year, years for another Grand Theft Auto, it's a good thing that they're putting the expanded enhanced version uh, of this game on the PS5 and Xbox X. So hopefully they, you know, start to update this game more frequently. That's what I'm hoping. Add more live series content like new reputation systems, like the new reputation system we got in this update. Be able to unlock stuff not doing your traditional GTA online, you know, missions is a really cool thing that they added. Something Red Dead Online actually does really good is the role system and how when you want to become a bounty hunter and you do bounty hunting missions, you actually gain extra bounty hunting abilities and stuff, cosmetics and guns and all that sort of stuff. That's one thing we've been lacking in GTA Online is that the RP system is the only system you, that you can level up. I always kind of wish there was like some sort of battle pass with every update or or I don't know <laughs> something that we could level up for the season or for some sort of new update like we got in this Los Santos Club meet update and that they did that really well so I'm really hoping we get more stuff like that and obviously this new business was a really good just overall update for this game that was well needed it blew my expectations out of the water and I think it did for a lot of people I think I went over just about everything I wanted to talk about in today's video and why I really like this Los Santos tuners update uh, it was just overall really good, added a lot of stuff, like a business one, really, we all we all thought it was just going to be new cars. Well, um, with that being said, thanks again guys for watching, please remember to drop a like and subscribe, and uh, check out yesterday's video that I posted, the GTA Online, but it's just family memes. Uh, I worked really hard in that video, and it underperformed, so... Um, shameless little plug there. I worked really hard in that video and I like it to do better. I think if you're watching this, you'd like that. So, uh, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Thanks again, guys. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.